right, we're checking out the only game where all the additional tech inside the Cybertruck just means I get to experience pain in new ways, it's GTA. We wanted to put the Cybertruck up against ridiculous stairs, and so it's time for a brand new challenge. As technology continues to advance and climb up the stairs into an eventual Skynet overlord, we've decided to put various trucks up against a stair challenge. Some of the stairs can crush your spirit, some of the stairs can crush your soul, and some of the stairs will just pull reality right out from underneath of you. We have these potential four-wheel failures to go up against the Cybertruck, but as always, only one can make it to the end. Let's do this. If you paint a quad in vaguely truck-like colors, I don't think it makes it a truck. Say hello to Spready Stairs with a lucky ball. I have no idea what this sentence means. <laughs> Ah yes, welcome to the Greystoke Plays channel, where even I don't know what the challenges mean. So there is a bocce ball, I can see it right there, waiting to murder me. I assume it falls down the stairs, but I have to figure out which side it falls to. So let us begin. Now the question you might be asking is, can the quad even climb stairs? The answer is not at all. But I figure we might as well try for the memes. So it looks like the ball is very slowly rolling down the right hand side. Oh, this is timed too. What happened? Oh, the ball just, the ball just gave up. <laughs> it just died halfway down the stairs. <laughs> ah yes, gravity, merely an afterthought when pitted up against the cyber truck. If I had a bunch of options to climb stairs like this, I'm not sure that a two-stroke quad would have been my first choice. The only thing this feels like is a great way to get potentially paralyzed. Hey! The fact that I'm getting anywhere on this thing is, well, never mind. I just lost all of my forward momentum. This is stupid. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks! I do appreciate that in the, in the instance of giving the cyber truck only the best and what? Oh, okay. So the ball is falling down this side this time. Is it, is it like randomized or I have no idea. That was kind of weird. What I was going to say is in giving the Cybertruck only the best of competition, clearly you all chose the, oh my God. <laughs> oh, it did something. The Sherp did something for once. You all chose true competitor vehicles this time. I've never had the Sherp do anything. I, I can't even remember the last time it has beaten a challenge. Drunk Skid Row Stairs with tetanus. <laughs> Why did you have to throw tetanus in here? What happens if this car gets tetanus? All right, tetanus, it's you and me. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, climbs the, uh, the Skid Row Stairs or whatever you call this okay, but it very quickly loses its forward momentum. I have to mention also, now that I got past the bocce ball one time, this thing is heat seeking. It has found me every other time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. No, ah, it is, it's like heat seeking against me. I was going, it was falling the opposite direction. How could you do this to me? I thought we had a deal. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, huh, well that hurt. All right. We're picking the thing with the most amount of power and a boost. This is a real consideration I have. If anything is gonna outdo the Cybertruck, it's gotta be something like this. Massive tires, tons of power, no agility. Watching this thing climb up stairs is like watching a newborn deer try and ice skate. I'm not kidding, if this thing had a dexterity score like in Dungeons and Dragons, it would be in the negatives. Okay, I think. Oh God. All this tire tread is 100% for show. It's like driving on Crisco. They're like, what brand is your tires? Michelin? No. Goodyear? No. It's just wax paper. I've just rolled wax paper on my wheels. Okay, one trillion IQ strat. We're doing this backwards. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that was its best run and it did it backwards. I can't think of the last time I saw a vehicle do something worse than the Sherp. Oh. Uh, yeah, this is not gonna work either. It has plenty of cargo space for me to put my regret in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is pretty bad at climbing stairs too. Whoa, what happened to the rest of the hood? The car just vomited the hood off in a projectile fashion. I can see what the issue is now. The hood and this vehicle never got along. That's why I can't get anywhere. Also, this is a weird optical illusion. I always feel like I'm less close to the middle of the stairs than I really am. So I get like slurped into that hole 
just chilling out in the center of it. So it can climb stairs decently if you get a good run up, I feel. We can 100% complete this challenge. I just need to hope that the bocce ball chooses the other direction. Or I could just outrun it. Could do that too. This is the best climb that we've had yet on stairs. Now we're talking. All right, tetanus, we meet again. But I've got my T-dab shot or whatever it's called. The thing that, the thing that you get against tetanus and it protects you from something else too. Maybe like the whooping cough or something. Okay, so this is, you slide a lot on these. But if you kind of skip over the very end, oh wow, okay, this is unbelievable. Ah, oh, come on. I don't want to get hit by the weird tetanus patronus cloud that is circling around. It's very sharp, the turns here. So it can be kind of difficult to make them, but we got it. Here we go. Oh yeah, this thing rocks at climbing stairs. Nice, another challenge completed. And no tetanus. And just in the nick of time, floating spiraling stairs. This is the most sour apple looking staircase I've ever seen in my life. It's like someone tried to peel an apple or something. What is going on here? It built a staircase out of oversized Wrigley Spearmint gum or something. I hate Wrigley Spearmint gum. Okay. Uh, yeah, it does spread. God, okay, it kind of pulls you over to the side too. This is weird. Uh, let me line this back up because I, I'm pretty sure we can climb this. But the real strat is to stay as close to the inside as you can. But it does, it pulls you to the outside. As the gum strips begin to spread further and further. Hold on. I just gotta reset it. Now there's no time limit here. So if you have patience, which I don't, you can beat this fairly easily. Oh yeah. Oh, we got it. Oh, the Hummer. Oh, okay, we're fine. Well, the Hummer's doing great. Icy descending stairs. You've heard of IBS? Say hello to IDS. Okay, so what's the, huh? So there's a big gap there. Do I have to jump that? So you just go down the stairs as fast as possible and shoot off the end or something? Now I will say when dealing with a downhill challenge with ice, the problem is making sure the back end doesn't kind of drag you to left or the right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What are you supposed to do now? <laughs> Wait a second. What's the strat? There's no way to make that jump. So Whoa! Oh, okay. So the floor moves. Oh, you have to time this precise. What in God's name is that over there? Fortunately, the rest of this is no big deal. Spready stairs. A one time. Out of the way, bocce ball. You can't stop technology progress. Oh, maybe you can. Totally stop my progress. Let's uh, let's try that again. There we go. No tetanus a one time. I still haven't been touched by the tetanus. I kind of want to know what happens, but I kind of also don't. I'm going to fall to my death now. Me and the ground have been close friends for many, many years. Did I just touch the tetanus cloud? Oh God. Oh God. Uh, I think, uh, I think there's a rogue black hole inside of my vehicle. Oh God, <laughs> I'm being trash compacted. I mean, it still works. Look at it, the car still functions. I mean, just barely. It's kind of going sideways right now. Ah, what is happening? <laughs> this is the derpiest wreck I have ever seen. It's still slowly crunching too. I think it's just so messed up right now that you can't even tell. Oh, there goes the hood. I'm surprised it took that long for that to to pop on off. The fact that I'm still able to climb any stairs in this state is a testament to how powerful this vehicle is. But uh, I think if I keep trying right now, I'm just going to be driving myself insane. Note to self, whatever you do, okay, do not touch the tetanus. It is bad. All right, again, these stairs, as long as I just take my time up them, you can one time these every single time. As a matter of fact, if you go up really slow, you can kind of hug the inside. I have to redirect myself like two or three times going up the staircase. So looking at how this works, this is a really messed up challenge. What you have to do is fall down these stairs and then stop somehow before you go sliding off so that you can catch this roadway as it crushes in forward. And once you've stopped thoroughly enough, 
you can then ride the roadway into the next part of the challenge. I need a vehicle that not only can climb stairs, but can also stop on a dime in the snow. Six wheels. How does it do against the lucky ball stairs or whatever this is called? Uh, not great. Yeah, definitely, definitely not good. I've got all these different differentials. You know what it does for me? Absolutely nothing. Oh, maybe it does do something. Okay. Yeah, sure. We got one of the challenges done with no time left to spare. Okay, do not get the tetanus. Whatever you do, don't touch the cloud of agony. The cloud of agony may want to shake your hand. It may look at you judgmentally if you choose not to reciprocate. Don't do it! Whatever you do, just run! Run! No! I ran out of time. So, I've been at this for a little while with this car. The big problem that I'm having is this. It gets past this challenge, but it cannot outrun the wall. What I need to have is my best run ever. Okay. Now, this is one of those things where you need to almost, oh God, no. What I was gonna say is, in order to have any chance, you have to cut across these Vs, but it is easier said than done. This might be a terrible decision, but I have to try it. This is half a truck. That's what this is. This is the truck you get in the half off sale. Can Derp defeat a challenge with little T-Rex wheels like this has in the front? My guess is probably not. It struggles to climb any stair at all. Okay, you could probably put a slice of American cheese in front of this thing and it would fail to climb it. I wanted to try this one more time just to make absolutely sure that if I really leaned back on the uh, hydraulics, I couldn't get any further. And no, you're not gonna get any further in this. Say hello to Cybertruck and son of Cybertruck. It's funny because they have kind of the same line, the same, the same sh overall shape. Son of Cybertruck is like, give me a chance, Gray. Absolutely not. Oh, boom. We're using the Cybertruck. I love how the Cybertruck has a very distinct gas guzzling growl in it. It cannot be angry orange over here though. This is like one of those things where you want the sound of a real truck, so you upload the sound into the sound system and then just play it over the radio. That's a real thing. I've seen electric vehicles that have that. People feel out of place without the sounds of the engine, so they just play it over the loudspeakers. Wow. Okay, I, I will say the grip on this thing is pretty good. It's a little unwieldy because it's like trying to drive a giant trapezoid. It's like a Dorito with four wheels. Oh no. Oh no. It, the Cybertruck, I think, just got tetanus. I don't know what happens when a Cybertruck gets tetanus. Because it has more technology on it, is it more allergic to tetanus than other vehicles? Okay, the Cybertruck is very allergic to tetanus. Oh, the shapes. There is some odd stuff going on here. My head is sticking out of the driver's side window. Oh, my neck. So the Cybertruck got tetanus so bad that the wheels were mutinying against the Cybertruck and starting to come out the top of the wheel wells. The more I use this thing, the more I realize the Cybertruck isn't, I would say, incredible at climbing stairs. It's not bad. My, the, I guess the real question is, how does it stop on ice? Because it is going to get past this challenge, I think. We're, we've got it. <laughs> okay, well... We ha well, that was the, our best run yet in a car past that challenge, so it does do pretty good. What's the turning radius on a Cybertruck? Not good. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do 35 point turns on this thing. It's like being back in driving school in New Jersey. Again, it's gonna make it. It can climb the stairs. It's just agonizing. If you see me hanging off the stair right now, this is the price of not having patience. And... Oh, no! This run is going much better. Do you know why? It's because I have the memory of disappointment of what just happened in the last run. All right, I had to swing the back end around a couple times, but we did manage to get up the spiral staircase. All right, moment of truth. How well does it do on ice? I mean, the tires look like they're out of a Matchbox car I had when I was eight years old. So I really don't know. You know, it's very 
I, it's very wieldly on ice. Like, I can wield this thing very easily. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, I need to find out the strat of how I want to stop here. I may have to turn this thing fully sideways. Oh, yes. How many times will that staircase and I meet one another? Probably like six to ten more times, I would guess. Okay, so going down the stairs. Keep the back end straight for now. You know what? I'm just going to try raw stopping power. I'm going to try and keep this thing. Oh, man. Okay, so the other problem is, is you have to have a certain amount of speed. Otherwise, the wall pops up, and now I can't get anywhere. So I need this weird Goldilocks zone of speed. If I can keep this thing as straight as possible, though, I think we can stop. Oh, my God. <laughs> that wall may have just saved my life. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do it. No! What in God's name? Hold on. Hold on. I can save this. I can save this. Yes! Uh, I'm going to go ahead and count that because that counted. <laughs> Swiping stairs. How much time do they freeze for? Uh, maybe a half a second, maybe a quarter of a second. So basically, you need to be you need to be climbing this the whole time. If you get stopped at all, your run is over. You're done. There's, oh, wow. Getting over these is also not great. You have to be spot on on the hydraulics to have any chance of climbing the- yeah! Oh god, I'm dead. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna try and save this. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is how this was meant to- oh, No! No! Okay, you know what? I'm getting off of this. We're gonna reset. This is so anxiety ridden. Cause you get no time to do anything. There's like 15 steps here. How many is I supposed to do? Okay, pop up the first one. And then you gotta be ready to transfer. Just right now. Good. Yeah, we got it. Okay, that's one. Then up on the side, stay to the left as much as you can. And then, oh, this one, is, are they getting taller? <laughs> Had a little crash just then. No big deal. Not gonna let it get me down. I have a feeling, though, that this wall is about to come up and ruin my entire run just based on how many times I've done this. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Nothing's wrong in the world of GTA. We're all doing very well. Here we go. Here we go. This is perfect. This is perfect. Yes. 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 Yeah. Where's the thing at? Oh, really? This is unbelievably difficult. I'm starting to, uh, I'm starting to think that the one time I, I made this work, it was just a fluke. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, now swing it. Swing that back end. And come on. Huh. Okay, now I'm starting to think maybe I do need to hit the wall. Like, wait until the wall is timed perfectly. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's got. Oh no 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 no! Oh no, you don't! Ah! It's sliding me all the way over to the right. Okay. There we go. Yeah. That makes that challenge even worse because I was wrong the whole time. It's not even about beating the wall. It's about letting the wall hit you. I'm starting to get my timing good for the hydraulics on the Cybertruck, so I think I can transfer most of these. Almost exactly. Look at that right there. Now, to me, it almost looks like the stairs are getting taller in places. I don't know. The swipers, maybe they're getting faster? No clue. Could just be me uh, coping with the agony of having to drive this thing to victory. Also, what's up with this uh, so supposed bulletproof glass? I have a feeling I've smashed the windshield out a couple of times at this point. Now, to be fair, sometimes it was tetanus that did it. It wasn't my fault. All right, we're going to go ahead, wait for it. We're going to roll it. Easy. Okay. We got it. We got it. We got it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, no, no. No! I was right there! Ow. I just got snow plowed. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. I wasn't... Oh, my God. I wasn't sure that the Cybertruck would be that good at climbing stairs, but now I can say it's not bad. It is pretty decent at climbing stairs. Mainly it's the fact that it doesn't do anything great 
but it can do everything just good enough to make me not want to throw my computer out the window. Never mind, I want to throw my computer out the window. There's a point when uh, I get close, God, to the end of this challenge and I realize when I get to that last step, if I mess that up at all and I don't pop these wheels correctly, I'm gonna have to do this whole thing over again. So I'm gonna let this go back one more time. I'm gonna line it up on a little bit of an angle. And once it's, we're gonna pop. Okay, and now we're gonna roll it. We're gonna straighten this out as much as possible. We're gonna pop over it. There you go. Cyber truck versus stairs. I for one cannot wait for the Skynet takeover, and thus we have a winner! Well, today I learned that technology can do a lot of things except for stop tetanus. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.